So what's one simple strategy that can help your digestion and help increase the amount of protein that you absorb in your meals? What is it? It's very simple. Watch out how much water you're drinking during your meals, before your meals, and after your meals. So why is this important? Well, any liquid in general, but water especially. So your stomach has acid, stomach acid, and it's very, very low pH, all right? It's very acidic, or is it high pH? I forget which one it is. Anyways, but uh, I think it's low. So uh, it's very acidic. Your stomach needs to have acid so that it can break it down. Break down proteins, break down carbs, break down fats so that it then can go into the small intestine uh, and, and then, you know, go through that whole process and then be broken down even further. So if you don't have those juices, if you're drinking a lot of water, that's going to dilute those acids in your stomach. We don't want to dilute them. We want them to be as high powered as they can so that they can come in and break down those proteins, break down those foods. So with someone like myself, I already tend to have lower stomach acid. It's something that I learned from my nutritionist. I'm a type A blood type, and that makes it uh, that we tend a type A's tend to have a, a less acidic or less uh, uh, less stomach acids in general. So if I then dilute them, I'm not going to absorb as much protein in my body when it goes through me. So what I do is 30 to 45 minutes before, I try not to drink any water. During my meals, I don't drink any water. And then after for another 30 to 45 minutes. I made another video on chugging water. So you're saying, hey, Jay, when are you gonna drink water, right? If you're eating you know, at these times and uh, you, can, you can't drink water in those times, it's like you know, you're having an hour and a half where you can't. Well, whenever I do drink water, I chug it down. But that's again, away from my meals. How, have I, how do I know that this is helping me? Okay, if you're saying, hey, where'd you get this information from? Well, it's very simple, like I said, water is gonna dilute those juices. But what I noticed was, is I, I, my goal right now is to gain a little bit of muscle mass. And I posted a video and you can kind of see where I'm at right now, but I'm, I'm trying to gain a little bit of muscle mass. And I've been increasing the amount of protein that I've been eating. And I've noticed that I have been, haven't been absorbing it as much. Well, how do I know that? Well, my digestion wasn't as good, okay? So which means my bowel movements weren't as good. I can make a whole nother video about bowel movements, but today I'm just gonna give you a couple tips on the absorption and uh, the protein, protein absorption. So how do I know that I wasn't absorbing as much? Well, I was having a very, uh, a lot of gas, let's just say, and it wasn't smelling very well. So that, is an indication if you didn't if you don't know that you're getting the absorption if you're if you're gassy and that gas is foul smelling you're probably not absorbing that that full of protein i stopped drinking water in and around my foods i started just having my food it makes it a lot easier when you eat healthy to not drink water in your foods because the food's not going to be like crackers and 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 full of salt and all this other crap that's going or sodium salt is okay but uh, uh things that are going to dry you out so fruits, vegetables, uh, protein that is slower cooked, that's gonna have water in them. So I don't need to drink water with my food. And if I do it, it's, it's a little bit, you know, it's just, it's just a tiny bit, just enough to help, you know, get things to, to move through. But because I eat healthy, I'm eating a lot of vegetables with my meals, I'm fine with that. Uh, my, my, my digestion or my, my meals when I eat, it's, it's pretty good. I, I don't, I'm not like, ah, right. I need water uh, because things are getting stuck in my throat. So that makes it easier. If you're, if you're having to drink a ton of water, look at what you're eating. You're probably eating crap food or it's, or you're burning your, your, your meals or you're, you're eating things that are too dry. We, we need that water in our food. And, uh, uh and, and again, it's going to help you with your protein protein digestion if you're not diluting those stomach acids as you're doing it. So I don't eat the the I don't drink water before, I don't drink water during, and I don't drink water after 30, 45 minutes before and after. When I do drink water, I chug it down. I made another video on this. I chug it down because again, I don't have that many windows to get in. I've also noticed that I'm not as thirsty. I don't, I don't feel as dehydrated. I, when I, when you chug the water down, there's some magic that happens where your body kind of, it says, okay, uh, I've gotten my fix. And then it levels out the balances in your body by either peeing out the excess or, or, or just letting you absorb. Whereas if you're just sipping all day, I think it, it doesn't, doesn't do as well. If I, I, the video that I made, made it, made an example. 
when we didn't have things like water bottles and water fountains and, and we had to go to a watering hole did, and we didn't have to, we couldn't even take it with us. What did we have to do? We had to chug that water down. I learned this from animals. Animals, they, I, I see them, they eat, they don't drink water all day. They eat some food and then a little bit later they go and they, they, they drink some water, maybe because a lot of the dog food and things like that, they, it, it's very, very high in, in salt. Okay. And so they, they go in or sodium, I guess there's the, you know, crap dog food and stuff. So they go and then they're, they, they drink and drink and drink and drink and drink. So they're balancing out their body for us. When you get that opportunity to drink, as long as it's not in and around your meals, drink and drink and drink. So getting back to the protein absorption. Now I have great bowel movements. I'll, I'll make another video on that. What, what should that look like? I have good bowel movements throughout the day and I don't have any of that gas anymore. I, I really don't. And so now I know my body is actually taking that, that food in and using it. And I've also noticed that, hey, my, my weight is, I'm, I'm losing some body fat right now. My weight is staying the same. I'm, I'm increasing that muscle mass. I'm noticing in the gym, my strength is going up on all these exercises. So that's something, the, those indications where, you know, you're looking at your weight, you're looking at your digestion, you're, you're, you're looking at how, how are you gassy or not? And then looking at your strength, um, those things can can help. You know, you can also do uh, uh, body fat testing and, and stuff like that, which I also do. So that's the metrics that you're going to follow. But again, if you're having some of those symptoms, your digestion is off, you're, you're, you're gassy, it doesn't smell good, and you're eating a ton of protein, you're probably not absorbing it. People talk about getting uh, digestive enzymes. Well, why not just maximize the enzymes that you have, those, those, uh, those juices in your stomach, those acids in your stomach, don't dilute them. Drink your water away from your meals. Chug it down. If you have a lot of water you want to drink, chug it down. You're, you're going to find out that that actually helps as well. And then eat your meals away from that, that water, away from your fluids, and then see what happens. So that's the one strategy. Check it out. If it works for you, let me know. Um, it's working for me and I'm enjoying it. That's all I got. Thank you.